Which fusion will appear next in Steven Universe? Lapidot? Steven and Garnet? The Return of Rainbow Quartz? Or even a fusion between Peridot and Garnet? As requested by patron Javon Campbell, today we're going to discuss which fusion is the most likely to appear next on Crystal Clear. But before we get into that, some quick community love. My good friend Sarah did a speed paint of her take on Green Pearl. Of course, a fusion between Blue Pearl and Yellow Pearl. My boy Dennington, music composer, known for his 8-bit remixes, started doing Steven Universe theories, which I cameo in in the first one. And a very underrated friend, VG Marcus, made a theory on Holly Blue Agate's true purpose, which I really enjoyed and was really fascinated in. We also made a Patreon video for 2017, which, even if you're not interested in being a patron, there's some very important information about the future of the channel there, and I do talk about the possibility of freelancing artists and musicians. So I do think that's a very important video to check out if you're a Roundtable fan. As always, links to everything in the description, and let's get on with the discussion. Fusion, fusion, fusion. It's always fusion. Without a doubt, one of the more exciting parts of Steven Universe is fusion. Who doesn't love seeing their favorite characters come together to make an entirely new entity? A being, an identity that didn't exist before. While Season 4 has seen the return of Smokey Quartz and Stevani, we haven't gotten any actual new fusions yet. A lot of us held on to the idea that a Lapidot fusion would emerge in Gem Harvest, but unfortunately, we set our expectations too high. Bummer. But knowing Steven Universe, it'd be odd if we didn't get a new fusion soon, especially with Season 4 wrapping up within the next 5 or 6 episodes. So I want to go down this list that our patrons supplied and just discuss the likelihood of each fusion appearing next, and which one is the most likely out of them all. First off is Lapis and Peridot. Now a lot of shippers would love to see Lapis and Peridot fuse, and hell, I would too. Lapis Leslie is my favorite gem, and Peridot has a special place in my heart, especially among all the other characters in the show. Being roommates, they constantly spend a lot of time together, which puts them a rank above intimacy when comparing the odds of them fusing with other gems fusing with Lapis or Peridot. A lot of people are also hoping that Ashley Birch, who announced a few months ago she would be in Steven Universe, is using her chops to bring to life said fusion. Now, I'm not entirely sold on Lapis fusing again, at least not yet. That's a very big step for her to take, but a lot of time has passed since the events of Alone at Sea, which is her confronting Jasper. I've discussed this before, but I don't think she's ready to step back into the world of fusion. Not yet. But a Peridot and Lapis fusion can easily prove me wrong. If they really are at the level of intimacy that Beta showcased, then who am I to disagree? They just have to be in the right situation for it. And with Homer making preparations to come to our beloved planet, that might be the appropriate scenario for said fusion to come to life. All we really need is the barn or Steven and immediate danger from a physical threat. Now, Steven and Garnet. Amethyst was, of course, Steven's first fusion with a gem in the episode Earthlings. I've been so excited at seeing other Steven and gem fusions since then, and Steven and Garnet would be next level, because Garnet's already a fusion. However, as I've stated in previous videos, Steven has a very close relationship with Garnet. They love each other. As we've seen in many episodes, they are adorable together on screen. It truly is like watching a mother and child. Garnet gave Steven that motherly role that Rose can provide as she's gone. Not to mention, Garnet is the fusion master. She always knows when to fuse, which fusion is appropriate for the obstacle presented, and the stability of a fusion. Hell, Garnet already helps Stevani through their fusion anxiety, which is honestly a topic I can make an entire video out of on its own. However, outside of her creation, we haven't seen Garnet rush into a first-time fusion. Sugalite, Sardonyx, and Alexandrite are fusions that have existed before we actually saw them in the show. As we've seen in the episode alone together, Garnet wants Steven to be experienced in fusion, having Amethyst be his fusion partner, so even if Earthlings didn't happen, there's a good chance Smokey Quartz would've came to existence through that training. Should have Garnet attempted those lessons again. So I can't really see Garnet and Steven fusing without Steven being properly trained and conditioned for it. The situation would have to be really, really dire for Garnet to rush into a first time fusion. Especially with someone like Steven. Now you can argue she was trying to rush into a first time fusion with Peridot, but Garnet has future vision. She just wanted to see if Peridot would go for it. She already knew Peridot would back out of it. It was Peridot's willingness to actually fuse that Garnet was interested in. Next up, Steven and Pearl. The return of Rainbow Quartz. And make no mistake, Steven and Pearl fusing would be the return of Rainbow Quartz. Along with these other fusions, I've talked about this before. So when revisiting the return of this fusion, I still had the same feelings I did then. Pearl may not be ready emotionally for that. 
she may never be. She's made amends with Greg and is seemingly moving on with Mystery Girl, but Mystery Girl looks like Rose. Until Mystery Girl dyes her hair and Pearl still has an attraction to her, it doesn't feel too legitimate, but it's still a start. Pearl fusing with Steven should be the final step in accepting that Rose is gone and moving past it. But that being said, and knowing how Pearl is, that's gonna be constantly put off until they're thrown in a situation where they are the only two people around and the only way out is for them to fuse. This is unfortunately the least likely fusion to happen at the moment. Once we get some development of Mystery Girl, then it could be put back on the table. Pearl moving on seems to be in an arc of three stages. One was making amends with Greg, two is Mystery Girl, and three will be fusing with Steven. I could be wrong on that, but in my opinion, that seems to be the direction they're heading. Finally, Peridot and Garnet. Hell yes. Between Garnet's afro yet square-like hair and Peridot's nacho hair, I am so, so fascinated and interested in what their fusion would look like. Now, as I said previously in this video, Garnet just wanted to see if Peridot was willing to try fusion, and she was, even though she backed out of it. Peridot's grown a lot since then, and she has some more growing to do. A fusion with Garnet? would definitely contribute to that growth. Lapis doesn't really identify as a crystal gem, but Garnet, who we know is all about the crystal gems. What better way to solidify Peridot as a crystal gem than fusing with the crystal gem's number one perma fusion? Nuff said. So out of all the combinations for fusions given to me, the most likely in my opinion is a Lapis and Peridot fusion. They seem to be the most intimate, and like I said, all they really need, like any fusion, is a common objective, something they need to protect. And I speculate that'll either be the barn or Steven, or one of the other's lives will be in danger and the other goes in to save them and then they fuse. After that would be Garnet and Steven, followed by Garnet and Peridot, and at dead last, Rainbow Quartz, between Steven and Pearl. Special thanks to Patron Javon Campbell for letting me revisit this topic. It was really fun in doing so. Again, be sure to check out the unique content I shared in the beginning of this video, and please check out our Patreon. You're not obligated to donate, but we feel like there's something there for everyone. And it really helps out the channel. What also helps out the channel? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. As always, check the description for links. This has been another Crystal Clear in the Books, and Ostrich Vox, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.